So you probably saw the introduction video, so the images at the beginning of this video. I had a problem, just make it short. I had something that is, I had two PCs, my main PC where I work and my Steam Rig PC. This meant that I had to maintain two PCs, hardware and all of that. So I want Steam, um, I said of course the Evo is coming up, so I need to do a couple of upgrades. So I had, but also my main PC needs some upgrades, so I had to upgrade two PCs. That was just a little bit too much in terms of my wallet. So I wanted to have one PC and but be able to play and work on my main battle station and switch to my sim rig back here. You cannot see it right now, but you know it, it's here. And switch to my sim rig back here the simplest way possible. So I came up with a solution. Now I have an extra PC, which is nice. My sim rig PC now is going to have a different use. And I have I have to maintain only one PC in terms of drivers, hardware, and all of that stuff. So I just but I wanted to make sure that I just got up from here and went back there and vice versa as simply as possible. And I just very seamlessly with only one PC. Okay. So this is what I have. So let me do let me do a quick sketch. Uh let me just uh do this. Okay. So here is uh, my graphics card at the top. So yeah, I'm going to show how things are connected around here and I'm going to show you how things, how, how they work. So in this is the back of my neck graphics card I usually use on my PC and on the one my main PC and simply put um, somewhere something about this. So this HDMI port, I have it connected to my drawing tablet. Okay. You saw it on the video and I'm using it right now to, to draw this. So this is something I need for work. This guy here is connected to the side monitor, okay? This is a monitor that I have here. So the, on my right side, you saw me fiddling behind it. And this guy here is connected to my main monitor in front of me. So you saw this on the video where things got connected and disconnected on my, on my battle station. So everything is fine. Then I have my sim rig with the three monitors, right? So, so far, so far, so good. I have a physical connection here available to this guy and I have a physical connection available to this guy. So, uh, there, there's one monitor here that is, is stuck unconnected. And don't forget that consumer graphics cards, consumer Nvidia graphics cards only allow us to have four displays connected. Four. That's, that's the maximum. If you have more connections, which is the case here. So if I look here, I have one, two, three, four, and five connections. But I, I can only have four at one given moment. So we need to make, to make a little bit of work with this, but it's fine. So first challenge is, or was, or is, depending on where you are. So this guy here has no connection, right? I have no physical connection available to this guy. So what, would I, what did I do? So basically here on this connection, you saw that I have a HDMI connector here, like an extender. Then I have two cables. One cable connects here. The other cable will connect here. Okay. So what I do here, that is I disconnect this one, connect that, that one. And which means, which means that I connect this one and image is, is being displayed here. I, di I disconnect this one here. And image is displayed on that one. So I just disconnect one, connect the other. You get what I'm, you know what I mean? So this is connected here from the graphics card. If I disconnect this guy here, let me just delete. If I disconnect this guy here and connect this guy here, this is what I, oops, this is what I have. Okay. Then I can disconnect this guy and connect that one and it swaps the monitors. So that's, that's good. So I can swap between these two. That's great. But thing, the thing is, I still only have four connections. So what do I do? So first scenario, let me get the, 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 all of this out of here. So first scenario is, 
So I have my HDMI splitter here, not the splitter that connect extender. So I connect, I connect. So this, this comes here and I connect this to this monitor here. I set up everything. Okay. I'll go to windows. For example, I can, I, I just go to my display, display setting. I had this here right hand. Okay. I go to my display settings and these are the settings. And this is, these are my settings for battle station mode. Okay. So I just go here and disconnect, go here and disconnect everything that I don't, that I don't need. So don't, don't forget to do this, disconnect everything you don't need for your one of your modes. Like I'm on battle station mode. So I disconnect the displays that I don't need. So I have on battle station mode, I don't have three displays, which is fun, which is great. Okay. So I have three displays here, which is awesome. So. This is my battle station mode and I disconnect. I set my main monitors and I set all of that. So all good. Then I go ahead and go and go here and disconnect the cable from here. Okay. And connect it to here. Go back to my display properties. Go back to that and um, disconnect the X displays, set refresh rate, set my main monitor, all of that. So Windows remembers that. Okay. So swap the cable and set battle station mode. Don't just, just disconnect your, your, uh, on software, your unneeded monitors. So things work properly. Then I just reconnect and go to, but, and go to sim rig mode and disconnect my, uh, the unneeded monitors and my main displays, the all the refresh rates. Everything is fine. After that, Windows just remembers. Okay. After that, Windows just remembers everything um, that you have set. So you go to battle station mode, set everything on Windows properties, refresh rates, main monitors, all of that. You sit here, you are working or do whatever you do on a battle, sta battle station mode. You want to go to the sim rig, swap the cables. When you sit down, it's already um, set up for sim rig mode. So battle station mode, set everything on display properties, everything is good. Swap cables, go to your sim rig, set everything for, for the sim rig, refresh rates, main monitors, and disconnect the extra monitors and, and, and all that good stuff. Then you're set. Windows just remembers all of this. Windows just, Windows just knows, um, that you are one with one, with one, in one setting or the other setting. So battle station mode, do your stuff, reconnect, sim rig, sim rig mode. Pretty simple, pretty standard. Windows does this by magic. I, I just tried and it worked. So here I am just setting the message to you guys. If you have any questions, like, oh, just one thing. I am using that uh, manual swap method, which is fine by me for now. It's just one cable. It's hidden behind this monitor here, so it doesn't even really bother me. It's like the poor man's setup, which is what I usually use. But if you want, we can get a simple, cheap uh, HDMI switcher. Just press the button and it switches. I don't see the need to have more stuff, but maybe I'll do it in, in the future when if things just, uh, I get, I feel this is just too complicated. It's just your personal preference, but this works. Okay. So let me just, um, do a quick review with you guys. So. This is my, this is what I have. This is, I swap between these two monitors here. This is my swap station. So I just swap the cable, set everything, swap it back. And I'm on battle station mode. I swap the cable and on my seat, when I go back to my, to my sim rig, I'm, when I'm sitting down, it's already in uh, sim rig mode. So this works great. For me, at least I have one PC and two completely different monitor setups and completely different monitor positions. I have here my three monitors for the sim rig and my battle station. And this is how it worked for me. Hopefully it will work, also work for you if you, if you're willing to, to find something similar to this. I have, uh, let me know if you have any questions or comments below. I'm quite happy to help you guys out in deploying something similar to this. Like and subscribe. It really helps. And I'll see you in the next one.